Okay, so we go from not so good news to let's go to some really good news for once. The weekend box office. Now, the weekend box office was just huge, okay? So the two big winners, okay, was Super Mario Brothers and The Evil Dead Rises. Um, this, this, they just really, Super Mario just killed it again, okay? And Evil Dead Rises had a really good weekend. So um, it, it's just great to see. So this is the third weekend in a row that Super Mario has won, okay? And um, this made, Super Mario made $60 million. So this comes from Deadline. And, you know, as I said, so it's the weekend box office as CinemaCon kicks off. Good news for Warner Brothers and Universal on the first day of CinemaCon. These movies came in higher at the box office than expected. Nintendo's uh, Universal Illumination Super Mario Brothers film now counts now is was the leader for the third weekend of fifty nine point nine million dollars. So call it sixty million dollars. Sixty million, st still the highest third week ever for an animated movie, but also just the third weekend for a Universal title. The last being Jurassic World with fifty four point four million. The third best weekend previously for an Illumination fi animated film was 2018's The Grinch at $30 million. Super Mario gets a gets a lift off better than expected at 19.65 6, million, which is 25% less than its 26 million on Saturday. So its running total for the United States and Canada is $436 million domestic. So Evil Dead Rise did an estimated $6 million on Sunday instead of the 4.9 it thought, which puts the latest installment of the horror series at $24.5 million. That's not far from the pre-pandemic opening of The uh, the Curse of La La Laura for the new, from New Line Cinemas and in the third weekend in April 2019, which did a $26.3 million off a B-minus cinema score and finished at $54 million. Key drivers in the, quote, spooky bomb campaign led by Warner Brothers marketing Josh Goldenstein were the red and green band trailers that dropped in January 3rd, also tailored on that month's and horror pit of Megan. Of course, grabbing all the genre fans with the South by Southwest premiere goes a long way and uh, great reviews. Uh, New Line Cinema um, screened, the screened the movie across horror fan fests such as Horror Fine in Cincinnati, Overlook in New Orleans, C2E2, and a couple of others. Um, so let's see. Stunted screenings, including Den Track, also scares about Telemundo, BuzzFeed, and um, Hispanic and Latino moviegoers, it went up to a huge 35% against Caucasians at 32%. So, um, yeah. I mean, it's just huge. Now, here are, here are the total numbers. I want to read the total numbers for you guys because this was the impressive thing. Okay. So, as I said, Super Mario, okay, made 59.9. Okay. Evil Dead Rises, 23 and half. Guy Ritchie's The Covenant, which I actually want to see, made 6.28 million. John Wick 4 still in the top five at 5.75. And Air continues to stay in the top five at five and a half million dollars. Um, you know, th th this is all good stuff. I mean, because we have we have movies out there that are doing really, really well. And we have CinemaCon, okay, as I said, we'll get to a couple of um um we have a couple of um, we have a couple of uh, films going to be there too, and I think that it's going to be fascinating to see what happens. I mean, I think Air making five and a half million dollars. Look, this is almost making close to its budget back, and um, it, it's just amazing to see what the longevity of this movie is. Just unbelievable. Um, this is going to get a bill. This is going to get to a billion dollars. 
probably not this weekend, but next weekend. So it's got two, it's got one more weekend. Okay. It's really got two more weekend. Um, yeah. So uh, speaking of Evil Dead Rise, the title drop for Evil Dead Rise was amazing. Okay. So I've yet to see Evil Dead Rise. And um, I'm going to wait. I know you were asking me about uh, if I've seen Mario. I'm going to wait till stream for that to come out, Coco. But um, yeah. I Yeah. That's a huge box office, though, take for Evil Dead Rise. And I really think the fact that it's, um, I think the fact that it did so well, it's going to really do well next weekend, too. And I think that's that's something to be said. But there is, there is a lot of films out there, too, that's really, you know, good. So, um, Marvel, Mario movie is so good. My friends and I just saw it in the theater. It was still packed. Yeah. As I said, it made $60 million, Coco. So, it's just unbelievable. Um, this is going to hit a billion dollars. Probably this week. And it's right. <laughs> it's perfect to do it because... You got CinemaCon right, you know, starting this week, and we'll get to those stories in a couple minutes. And it's like, yeah, I can't believe that this is um, this is doing that well. But we really needed this. We really, really needed this. And um, if this is any indication of how the summer is going to go, look out, look out. Because here's the thing: the thing being is this: Into the Spider Verse is an animated movie and it, the, the other one from everybody i have yet to see it and i can watch it for free so it's not that big of a deal but everybody i talk to says that's at least in the top one or two spider-man films of all of the spider-man films so um everyone i know my high school class knows the entire peaches song just by how many people so yeah and, and there are going to be people going back to the movie over and over and over and i think that that's really this is what this is what movies can do it can really save the box office and this is i mean evil dead rise making almost 25 million dollars is incredible incredible so i i can't wait to see it and like i said guys imagine if this is making this much money here imagine what it's going to do on video on demand it's just going to blow up. So, anyways, guys, what do you think about this? How many times have you seen Mario? Have you seen Evil Dead Rise? Did you like either or? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments, and I'll get back to everybody.